out there. So tell him that the oath that we took with the owl will last till the end. Is that clear? Tell him that he must not set his foot into this house without completing the agreement. Or else he will die. And that includes you. <gasps> Is that okay? <laughs> tell him. And don't forget to tell him. your list of possible victims. You should what? You heard me! You bloody ritualist! I beg your pardon, oh. Mabel. You think... Did you think that I would not eventually find out? <laughs> your ploy has been thrown open and there is nothing left for you to hide. Your partners were here. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about! So stop pretending. Your partner Obele was here. And he said that I should tell you that the covenant you had with them must be kept. Obele was here? Yes! Now I know. Now I know why you were screaming to yourself the other day. And possibly, Benjamin, you might have used our daughter for the sacrifice. Benjamin, did you or did you not use our daughter for the sacrifice? I don't know what you're talking about. I never used anybody for any ritual. If I did any ritual, would I still remain poor like this? How can you say that? 
I don't know what you're doing. What is the meaning of all this? You don't know what I'm talking about. Of course, I don't know. Okay, you don't know what I'm talking about. Don't worry. Very soon, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. But for the meantime, I am leaving this cost house where people pop up from, from nowhere. And I will not step foot into this house until you repent of your evil ways. Rituals. Listen, don't go. I mean, virtually everybody has deserted me. If you leave me now, I'll be alone. Mabel, you know I care for you. You are the only one I have. Mm, 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 mm. Wait, wait. I am the only one you have left. Yes. Or did you want to say I am the only one you have left for the next sacrifice? Oh, Mabel, how can you say that? Benjamin. Benjamin, just leave me. Leave me if you want me back, then change your ways. Don't touch me! Just don't touch me! Hey, hey, hey! Come. I don't want to fight up with you. Just leave me alone! Get appointment. Your girl knows how they come. Open gate. I cannot open the gate without his permission. Which gate permission? Was not be will not be your office to open gate. I can't open the gate without my your girl's permission. Go go go. What's in me that you? I go sack you. I go I go sack you. What's in your name? My name is John. John, your girl knows me. Open this gate. I cannot open the gate. I'm telling you to open the no. gate, your girl. Sir. In, I have made up my mind. Right decision and right time too. Get into the car. Let's go.
senior apostles of Great Ozugu Zugu, venerable servants and apostles of this great fraternity of the hour, we have with us today a new member, an infant apostle, Benjamin. Infant apostle? Yes, venerable one. Do you wish to have long life added to the riches the great owl would give you? Yes, venerable one, I do. Then decide on which to offer. The potency of your manhood or any of your children it desires at any time and in any number. Infant Apostle, decide! Uh, uh, I, I, I choose to give up my, my manhood. now time for the covenant with all the members of this great fraternity. Infant Apostle, yes, step forward. Dip it into the bowl. authorized to do so. May 
Mabel. Mabel. Please come. Please come and sit down, my daughter. What was it you said is the problem between you and your husband? All you do every day is reading the Bible and praying. Mama, I'll tell you in due time. That is what you keep on telling me. Some women have lost their matrimonial homes to gold diggers. My daughter, a good man like Ben is not easy to come by. I will want you to go back to your husband's home. Don't forget that if any woman should walk into his house now and find him alone, you know the result. There is an adage that says, the idle mind is the devil's workshop. Please, my dear, make up your mind and go back home. Don't ever underestimate the wisdom of a good mother. Mama, I've heard you. Then, my dear, go back to his house before your act will cause you the entire regret of your life. Mama, that is what might happen if I too go back there. The regrets of my entire life. <sighs> anyway, I am going down to the shop now. For this now, my daughter, you have not been eating. What is the problem? I will not want you to harm yourself. Don't forget that you are my only child. Please, my dear, make sure that immediately I leave for the shop that you find something to eat. The Lord is never asleep. He has plans for us. He will surely find a solution to these problems. Hmm? Did you hear me, my dear? Please, my love. You know how much I love you. <laughs> Make sure that you eat something and take very good care of yourself till I come back, eh? So, I'll see you when I come back, eh? Bye-bye, my dear. Go well. Thank you, my love. You're welcome, please. Thank you very much. The other day I was just uh, talking with uh, Brother James. I, have, I was telling him I had not seen uh, Brother Ben for some time. How is he? Is he okay? Yes. He's okay. Fiscally. But he can't say the same. How, how do you mean? Um, Pastor, I'm holding my peace for now. Sister Mabel, I am your pastor. And it is my responsibility to watch over you spiritually. If there is any problem, you can share it with me and we'll pray about it together. In recent times in my prayer closet, I see this dark veil hovering around your household. It's a veil of darkness. And that was why I sent for you, because there is a need for you and your husband to go through a deliverance session. Okay, Pastor. But um, I'd like to go through this um, deliverance session alone, if you don't mind. Sister Mabel, 
it is your household that we're talking about. I am hoping that your husband will be able to make a time out of his busy schedules. It's very important. I understand, Pastor. But I'd still like to go for this deliverance alone. Please. Okay. Sister Mabel, if you want to stand proxy for your household, that will be okay. We'll have to start off with um, a session of fasting and praying. We'll start tomorrow. I sense an urgency in my spirit. Okay, we'll start tomorrow. So, how are things I learned you started a little business some time ago? And uh, how is it going? Well, we're trying. Solomon, open the gates. Are you expecting anyone? No. Benji. Benji. Ah, solo. Benjamin. Okay, Benji. Come, 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 come. Solo, solo. Okay, Benji, now you be this. Oh, yes. Five hundred dollars for you. Go on, take it. Oh, for me? Yes, and uh, stop drinking, Gary. I did it in Jesus' name. It's not good for your eyes. And this, your uniform. They are old. They ought to be changed. Never mind. Ah, uncle, uncle. Benjamin. Madam. Why are you looking surprised? These are just the first sets of my fleet of cars that arrived the country. The last batch will be arriving by the middle of next week. So I said to myself, Benjamin, why don't you go to your uncle, Chief Dennis Ibenwa, and his wife and show him your set of new cars. That's why I'm here. So that we can all rejoice and celebrate this newfound fortune. Um, George, Chairman, sir. George, chairman, go to the boot of that car. Bring a carton of wine. Okay, sir. One carton. Okay, sir. Life is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, madam. Things are moving up. Uncle, this carton of wine is quite expensive. I bought it alongside other brands. During my last trip to Europe, a bottle costs a fortune. But then, of course, you're my uncle, so nothing is too much for you coming from me. And so, uh, this is for you. Perhaps you can pray, you know, call the ancestors, or whatever, so that uh, we will all rejoice to this newfound fortune. <laughs> Life. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, actually, we were just going for benediction when you came in, so why don't you join us to the church and be part of the benediction? Or wait until we are back, or maybe some other time, so we can celebrate with you. Well, um, maybe I will, I will go and perhaps come back later so that um, we can celebrate. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Uncle, you, you, are, you are forgetting the wine. Oh, uh, uh, Donald. Sir, take. Uh, 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 uh. Why don't you come with us to the church? Oh, oh no, madam. Um, I'll go. Perhaps I'll come back next time so that we can sit down and. Uh, Gloria! Mm -hmm. We are late! Okay. Boys! Chairman, sir. Exit time. Okay. Life is beautiful. Oh, yes. <laughs> with Christ, life Gloria, is beautiful. Gloria, we are late! For oh, us! Bunny! <sighs> Honey? But, Donna, 
Reginald is not even here. You are rejoicing with Benjamin. And you know he has come here to insult me. You know that. You are rejoicing with him. What is the insult then? The boy just came to show you the goodness of God. That's yes. all. Yes. What do you know about the Lord? He came to show me cars I've never driven before. He came to give me wine I have never tasted in my life. Did you see how he was pointing his walking stick menacingly at me? Chief, I don't know why you're fuming. You have seen it all. You have tasted it all. So what is the problem? Yes. He came here to show you the goodness of God. That's all. What do you know about the goodness of the Lord? I'm asking you. What do you know about God anyway? So a small kid comes to insult me and you think he's coming for me to rejoice with him. Get into the car. Get into the car. Let's go to serve God. The venerable one. You have only two days to live. Just two days. You see, the venerable one, is there no alternative? You know I have been a loyal servant to the owl. It, the, it's too short. How, how do I start? Apostle Chidi, you have vowed to consent to any time the great owl wants to take you. The time is here. Two days. Just two days. I mean, how did Tamu not tell you that it happened? I'm talking to you, my friend. He didn't tell me anything, sir. He didn't tell you anything. I mean, this is, this is not acceptable. I mean, this is totally unacceptable. This is bullshit. How can they just say that my goods are missing like that? 
My friend, would you get that phone for me? Ochendo, what is going on? Uh, Ochendo, I said, what is going on? I'm losing everything. 18 million naira worth of goods belonging to me are missing in the wharf right now. In our own wharf. No, 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 you don't listen to me. I won't listen to you after all. You are among those who should talk me into being in this, in this, in this shady business. So you listen to me. First, my cars were seized in Dubai. Choice cars, exotic cars, and those cars, the money run into millions. So I won't listen to you. Now, 80 million naira, 80 million naira worth of goods are missing at the port. I mean, you want me to listen to you? What? You are dying in two days' time. Wait. Did you have an accident? All right. Have you contracted AIDS? What? Hey. One 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 I mean, I simply don't understand that crap. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. You call it crap? Oh, of course, that's what it is. Check this. How can a young man full of life wake up in the morning and all he's telling people is that he's going to die in the next one day or two. It doesn't make sense at all. Obele, wait, 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 wait. Is that also part of what one expects when one joins your brotherhood? Thank you. Hmm. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Get us to that supply. Obeleze, the way Ochendo was sounding on the phone, he was sounding really desperate. Anyway. that his potency and his children will be for him. Right now, as we speak, his family, they are in London, and they are happy. So, he doesn't make any difference. So, he is really going to die in two days' time. Nkankit, hmm? it is one of those things. Right. I think right now we should be concentrating, concentrating on your problems. We will going to see the Guru so that he will show you where the score and the soul of your riches lies. So that you can pick them up and value. Maybe very go. You understand? Because that's the major thing, having the money and being able to grab it, keeping it. Mm. If I name my Belgalaya, I'll probably leave it. Also, go there. 
And that is not our portion. Uche! Uche! Yes, brother! I'm coming! Yes, brother. What's your sorry, problem sorry, now? I, I was sorry. Every time if they call you, instead of you to answer first, you want to come close before you answer. Sorry. Take this files. You will see names written on those files. Huh? Okay. Tomorrow. Make sure that everybody whose name is written on each file gets the file. I hope you're hearing what I'm saying. No, not tomorrow. You go and do what you want to do. Whether I'm around or not, no matter what happens, whether good or bad, they must get these files tomorrow. That's what you're supposed to do tomorrow morning. Eh? I hope you're hearing me. It's not no problem. After you go and do what you want to do. Go to my room. Hmm? On top of my fridge, there's another fire there. Let's bring that one to me too. Hello? Who is this? Douglas. Hey. Douglas, how are you? How are you? Uh, don't worry about me. I said don't worry about me. Oh, the money has arrived. <laughs> How much? $250,000. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Um, now listen to me. Hmm? Just take all the money. You know, I promised you I was going to arrange you. I, I I know it's 30 million naira or there about, but I said go ahead and take the money. Spend it. Yes, goodbye forever. Stop asking me why I'm sounding this way. I am telling you to take the money and you're asking me, okay, don't you want the money? Ah, then take it. Uh, Yes, enjoy. Just take the whole money. Huh? Oh, <laughs> okay. You want to come and see me? Ah, uh, okay now. If you come anytime, whether you see me or not, oh, after, all I know is that I've asked you to take the money. Ah, uh, bye bye. Just do whatever you like, but take the money. That's what I've just said. Uh -huh, bye, bye. Can you imagine? This poor man. Tell, I'm telling you to take the money and you're asking me, man. What is me? Rubbish. What? Uncle, it's me, Chili. Uncle, please, I want you to come to my house now. Uh, I want you to come now. Listen, Uncle, things are spoiling. Uncle, listen, things are spoiling. Forget the way I'm sounding. I'm just telling you to come over. Listen, yes, in an hour's time, we'll be fine. Just make sure you're here. Uncle, if you don't come, you might not see me. It's not about traveling. I'm just telling you, just come. Come, I'm waiting for you. Okay, okay, bye.
Brother? I brought the file. There it is. As, as you said, I saw it on the fridge. Brother? 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 Yeah. Brother? Hey! Brother? Brother? Brother, please don't do this, brother! Hey! Hey! Brother? Somebody help! Help! Hey! Chief speaking here. Yeah? I can hear you go on. I said I can hear you go on. Yes. I'm sorry I don't have any money. I said I don't have any money. It's alright. There's nothing wrong with that. If you insist on visiting me, then make sure you come with your transport fare to and fro, right? Let's just be very clear on that point. Thank you. Nonsense. Who was that? My sister's son, Obina, talking to me about school fees. I don't know what these my relations think. Cousins, nephews, nieces, anybody who needs money just picks up the phone and phones me. I wonder whether they think I'm a bank. Can you imagine asking me to give him 1,500 naira? What a whopping sum. What is he going to do with all that money? 1,500 naira. Can you imagine that? Donald. Get me my checkbook from the briefcase and come along with a pen. Okay, sir. Disturbing a man's life for nothing. Vincent's motherless baby's home. Give it to the proprietress. Hmm? Tell her that I give them this money in appreciation of all the prayers that were said by the inmates for the successful election of a new pope. Hmm? Alright, go on. Uh, do not wait a minute. Take a good look at that check. It's for two million naira. I don't want any stories. All right. Chief, 
You just told your nephew that he don't have money. That is a statement or a question. Come on, Chief. It's a question. You expect an answer to that question? Jesus Christ. Chief, charity begins at home. I agree with you entirely that charity begins at home. So let's practice it. Go and get me lunch. Charity begins at home. The soul and the scar of your riches will be found in the fresh semen of a young boy. Fresh semen. Every three months. Fresh semen. Every three months. Join the great master, the owl. <laughs> and so shall all of us when we die. It is only the body that we shall cut, and the master will be with us in body and in soul. Very invisible, but persistently and consistently perceivable. <laughs> What is expected of me now? Homosexuality? No, come on, man. That's nasty. That's that's crude. It's even unlawful, so I can't do it. By the rules, man. Play by oh, come the on, man. I can't play by such rules. It's nasty. Don't you get it? Relax. Relax? Relax. Life is beautiful. Look, I have my plans for If any man had one, and a man had one, you kiss you, you're even lucky. Emma, <laughs> because at the beginning of every year, I must sleep with a bad woman. But not, you're not serious. It will go every. That's, that's, that's terrible. That's despicably on. What are you. This is madness. Oh, man. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. The best thing you can do for me now is tell your driver to drive straight to my house. Let me go and rest. I need to rest. At least I can get rest. <laughs> Wherever our channel is right now. Let's leave a chair out of this. That is leave a chair to out of this. Oh my god! 
never see you again. Hey, mom, where's that? That is this side. Oh, I can't get this side. Get your things. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Thank you. 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 Thank if you finish food, you can't have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. If you finish food, you finish it. Oh, boy. Sorry, I've not been able to see you since you left your matrimonial home. But I actually do not know your family house. It's okay, sister. Vivian! Bring something for her to drink. So, how are you? How are your parents? I hope you've been praying. <laughs> Sister, I can't take anything now. You're in my house, remember? I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I just can't take anything now. Well, if you say so, no problem. It's okay, no problem. So, I've been wanting to talk to you about going back to your husband. You see, my dear, men must always be men. As wives, we have to learn to tolerate their excesses. Okay. Um, on the contrary, Sister Gloria, I am not here to talk about my husband. I am here to talk about yours. My husband? What about my husband? Um, Sister Gloria, I am telling you that I saw the both of them. Is that enough reason for you to accuse him of being a cult member? Just because of a funny dream? Listen, Mabel, I know how you feel. But that does not give you the right to accuse anybody unjustly. If there is anybody to suspect, it is your husband and his sudden wealth. And not my husband who has been working all his life. Listen, Mabel, I know my husband. He does not hide anything from me. Sister Gloria, that was what I thought about my husband until it happened to me. Well, that was your husband. Mine is different. No wonder you refuse to drink in my house. Sister, you have to listen to me. No, you listen to me, Mabel. You cannot just walk into my house and try to disrupt the peace and harmony in my household. Just because yours is destabilized. You don't do that. Sister Gloria! Don't sister me. Don't.
What is Ben's wife doing here? She's on her way out when you came in. Or are you not? Yes, I am. She and her husband are very carbonic. I don't want to see any other girl again. You wouldn't believe what she came here to do. What? Honey, I wouldn't want to bother you with um, cheap gossips. I know you must be tired. Let's go upstairs and have a bath together. What did she tell you? Oh, oh, well, um, if it's important, I'll tell you. She must have come here to ask me for money, I presume. Well, if that's why she was here, she had better go look for her worthless husband and demand money from him. I don't want any home wreckers coming into this place to inject bad luck into this family. So you had your two superstitions. Guess what? I made your favorite soup. Can we go upstairs and have our bath together now? Hmm. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Yes. When do you normally close from school? Around 4.35. Mm. See, you can come around anytime. I want to make you my good friend. And I will treat you well. Mm? Okay, thanks. Don't worry. I'll dispose it, huh? Okay. You can dress up. Come oh. thanks. Yeah. That's my boy. See you later. So, when are you coming again? Let me ask you a question. Is this your first time of doing I mean, catching fun? Okay, that will work. You take care. Thanks. See Where's my stuff? It's here with me. Are you sure it's genuine? Yeah. Right. I have a cash here. No deal. You can count on me anytime. Okay. My regards to your boss. So I'll take good care of yourself, huh? Yeah. Oh, let him come in. Okay.
Life is beautiful. Life is very beautiful, my brother. Me. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. Now, how far now? Far, no far, my brother. But I don't really know what is happening. I don't know what is happening. Business wise? Of course. Do I have a family? Ah, but you should get yourself one soon. Oh, I beg, I beg. Let's talk about business first. Although I intend to adopt two children from the orphanage very soon. Very good. It is good. It's good, but my business is bad. Really bad. I don't know why. Ah. Yes. Why not ask the owl? I have already asked the owl. He gave me instructions on what to do. I have carried out the instruction to the letter in spite of the fact that what he told me to do is quite despicable and repugnant to my person. Yet, instead of my business gear moving forward, it is now on the reverse. Why? This is what I want to know. Um, ben, I still think something is wrong somewhere. Mm. Mm. That's why I would advise that you go back to the Guru again. You think so? Go back to the Guru. That should be the case. Well, if it's that simple, that means life is still beautiful. Life is beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> what are they saying about Ochendo's burial tomorrow? Oh, we're all going. We are? Of course. We have to. <laughs> Yes. No, no. <laughs> yes, we have to go there and spray money. Mm -hmm. Show the world how to spend good money. I will spray American dollars. What are you going to spray? You should know now. I am going to spend and spray Mama Charlie head. <laughs> and you know that is Bang Stalin. <laughs> no, Charlie. <laughs> now wait, let me quickly shut down. Uh, <laughs> uh, life is beautiful. All that. Audio. So, Ochendo is no more. Oche, my man, my main man is no more. Hi! Audio. Oh! What a tragic way to end a life happily spent. Akalosia, there is no happiness in a life so shortly lived. None whatsoever. Akalosia, there is no happiness in a life so shortly Ochendo made his choice and all went for him. Well? Obele, you're not saying anything. Odekwamma. Is everything all right? We all live to die. It will come to your turn. <laughs> Look, this is time for celebration. And not for money. When a man dies, you celebrate. Well, life must go on. Snoop, get us one, one bottle of money. And then, as soon as you're done with that, you pass it for soup. Life goes on. Oh, yes. And life is for the living. Ordinary concern. Life is beautiful.
know Godson? Yeah. How do you do? Find that. Yeah. That way you coming from. You look awful in this dress. Well, it's all right. I'm coming from a function. And by the way, I think I like the dress. <laughs> no, you don't. Who's that chief? Uh -huh. I did it, Venerable One. I did as you directed me. And your problems still persisted? It even doubled. That's why I'm here. Hmm. You got it wrong. I did? Uh, venerable One, I, I got the sperm as you told me to do. And I took it just as directed. You don't take it. You suck it. You suck it and swallow it. In two days, Apostle Ben. In two days. Two days? Mm. Two days. All right, Venerable One, I, I will do as you have instructed me. Where is he? He declined, sir. He declined? Yes, sir. I thought you said he's gay. He, he, he is, but I, I don't just understand what happened to him. Sir. Don't give me that I don't understand what happened. Stop. I need a gay. Okay? So, George, I trust you to get me somebody right away. Okay? Please, jump to it. Okay, sir. Listen. I have just two days to do this whole stuff. Okay, I've lost a lot of money and I'm not willing to lose any more money. So jump to it and get me somebody right away. No problem. There'll be a problem if you don't come back with anybody. You hear me, George? There'll be a serious problem if you don't come back with somebody. see some of my guys and then go to Uncle Ben's place. God said I'm so busy right now. Um, I'm not in the mood for that, okay? Look, Quincy, when we came back, you promised me that we we're going to go to all these places. These guys just came back. You know, we could go out, you know, there might even be a party this evening. Go to some hangouts and then finally, you know, just paint the town red generally. Paint the town red? Yeah. With you? Me and my you. Boss. <laughs> Come on, girl, you're still a teenager, okay? So if I must go out with anybody, definitely not with you. Nah, look, cut yourself some slack, big bro. He's been holed up in this house, reading books. I don't know, are you trying to blow your mind or something? Just give yourself a break, okay? Come on, girl, don't you get it? I'm not going. You want to go to Uncle Ben's place or paint the town red, whatever you call it, you can go. What is going on here? He said he doesn't want to go out with me. Ah, why? Mom, I told Garson that I'm going nowhere. He's still a teenager, Mom. Please. If I must go out, definitely not with him. I got my own guys, Mom. Please, please, please. Anyway, where are you off to? Well, I want to go see some of my guys. 
and then end up at Uncle Ben's place. Oh, send me well to your Uncle Ben, okay? I'll do that. Oh, okay, and you be careful. I will, Mom. I'll do that. Send me well to Uncle Ben as well. Look, you go tell him yourself, okay? Because I'm doing that for you. And be careful. Don't stick too close to those girls. Look, I heard that before, okay? I'm a grown man. Yeah, yeah, you'll you'll see. See. Bye, bye, bye. Get out. Get <laughs> out. Chairman, sir. Who is that? It's me, sir. George? Yes, sir. Yes. Chairman, sir, there's this, there's this nephew of yours that said he wants to see you. He said he's a uh, chief uh, in one son, that his name is Godson, sir. Godson Benoit. That stupid man's son. What is he doing here? Why did you bring him here? God tell him that I don't I don't want to see him. <laughs> What's happening to you? Uncle, I'm fine. Okay. You have a very beautiful place here. Oh, thank you. You know, life is beautiful. You know, life is really beautiful. <laughs> so how about your brother, Quincy? I told him to come here with me, but he refused. You know Quincy and his books. Yeah, that's Quincy for you. Well, it's all right having you here. You know, I mean, you should be coming here more often. I'll try. Now, now that I'm around, I'll try. Enjoy yourself, okay? Make yourself comfortable. Yeah. I was doing something upstairs when I, I was told that you were around. So just um, feel free. I'll also enjoy it. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome.
George. George! Yes, sir. Sir. Come here. Take him upstairs. Jim Davis, you made me suffer. You made me go through a lot of pains. You make me feel less than human. Now it's payback time. By the time I finish with your son, you will realize that if one takes one's time, he can take revenge on even the most powerful. This is just the beginning. Um, it's all right. 
George, allow him to come in. Okay, sir. The next time I come in here and you try to stop me, I'll deal with you. Chief himself. You're welcome. What do I offer you? Uh, already, um, we are drinking brandy. Uh, what, uh, uh, George, go to my bedroom, the fridge in my bedroom. Get one of those bottles of expensive wine. That one. Okay. Get one of them for Chief. Benjamin, do I look to you as if I'm joking? Well, it, it, it's very hard to tell when old people like you are joking. In fact, most times they look funny to me. <laughs> Chief, please, don't mind him. Please, do sit down, Chief. Benjamin, what did you do to my son? You know, Chief, life is always beautiful. You heard my question. I demand an answer. What did you do with my son? Chief, I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about, Benjamin. You do. I said, what did you do with my son? Chief, please, calm down. I demand an answer. You will get the answer. What do you do to me now? Gakese. Zanyan. All right. Okay. Well, Chief, I did to your son what you do to other people's sons and daughters. That's what I did to your son, Guts. Benjamin, he used my son for ritual purposes. He used Godson, my only bright son, for ritual purposes. All right. You're trying to play the devil incarnate. Now wait for the devil himself. This is a challenge. I accept it. <laughs> Chief! This is only the beginning! <laughs> Oh, yeah. 